it's almost as if they had nothing else to write about in this show and where to spend their money. So they had to bridge that gap between the new content and the older films by doing this. Okay, rapid fire, real quick. Old man in gray, stripped of his memory, wandering with the Harfoots, Nori and Poppy. Okay, you kind of already get a glimpse of what I'm going to say. The Rings of Power Season 2 has been released, at least the first three episodes, okay? And I have to talk about it. The Stranger in the Rings of Power is a figure we hoped wasn't fucking Gandalf, but I have some bad news for you. This character, I think, is purposely shrouded in mystery. Now, I'll get into that in the video, but it has done a great job at sparking endless theories and debates. In fact, it does a great job at pissing a lot of people off who love the Lord of the Rings, and it makes it more relatable for everyone else. Unfortunately, season two has all the answers written in plain sight and right in front of us. You might be surprised with what I found. Let me know in the comments below if you are already anticipating this move by the writers to do this or if it's a complete surprise. Comes the end of our fellowship. From the very moment he came in and crash landed in Middle Earth, a stranger has been a puzzle for some and then a totally solved puzzle for others. It was a pre-solved puzzle for some reason. For those living under a rock, as we can see, the writers of the show don't give a shit about Lord of the Rings lore. They're just making it up as they go. It's enough to be on the nose that you would be smelling it. It's like an upper, it's my mustache all the time. I have burgers. The mustache smells like burgers for days. But the moment he started displaying magical powers, it's very, very clear. This is no ordinary traveler. It's not necessarily a new wizard, unless we get into a twist later on. Who is he really? And why does he seem so familiar? An old man in gray robes, wielding magic. Doesn't that remind you of someone? The parallels between the stranger and a certain wizard are hard to ignore, I'm gonna say that. One of the most compelling clues for me is actually the language. In the second episode of season two, where the stars are strange, Poppy is asking why the stranger being a wizard can't simply conjure food and water for them. You know, cause they're on a very unique trip out to the wonders of something. And we've never seen this before, so it's amazing. I know magic more water into being. It's afraid he lose control again without a gand. Should we find a gand? There's plenty of sticks all over the place. I don't think it works that way, Pop. Nori's response, however, that he needs a staff to properly channel his magic and that he's afraid he'll lose control again without a gand. Curious choice of words, isn't it? A gand. Gand isn't just a throwaway term. I know it's a snorefest, but it comes from the Old Norse word gander, meaning staff, wand or magic. You don't see Saruman with a gand in his name, do you? Now, if that doesn't ring a bell, it should because it's the very root name of Gandalf. Tolkien, a master of languages, didn't pick names randomly. I can promise you that. Gandalf's name translates to elf with a wand or staff, directly linking him to his powerful symbol. So logically, when the stranger is associated with the word gand, it's not just a coincidence. It's a little breadcrumb. A little jelly bean to keep you on the trail. A subtle hint pointing us to the direction of who he truly is. But hey, good news. This is not my only uh, bit of information and language isn't the only clue. Take a look at the stranger's behavior. He's wise, friendly to hobbits, all right, and possesses a deep connection to nature. Sound familiar? These traits are unmistakably reminiscent of someone we know very well. Gandalf was seen playing with the butterflies, sending messages, the eagles, all the above. Throughout the Rings of Power, the stranger protects and guides the Harfoots, much like Gandalf did and would with Frodo and the other hobbits. Despite his amnesia, moments of wisdom shine through, especially in times of crisis. And this bond with nature is so important, with the trees, the animals, the earth itself, is something we've seen before. Gandalf's deep connection to the natural world is well documented. Look at him and the Ents. And the stranger's actions echo this in every single turn. Visually, the stranger and Gandalf share a little bit more than just a few similarities. The gray clothing, the staff, okay, sure. The disheveled hair, and it's almost as if every frame is trying to remind you of someone. And the cinematography too. It's no accident the way the stranger is framed, the way he moves through the world. It all harkens right back to those moments in the original trilogy where Gandalf stood as a beacon of wisdom and power. All that to say, the visual parallels aren't just for show. 
They're deliberate. They're designed to invoke our memories of Gandalf in the minds of the audience watching the fucking show. Okay, okay, my last little tidbit is literary roots. Tolkien was a philosopher. He was a scholar of languages. And every name and every word he used in those writings and letters had meaning. Gandalf's name, as we've explored, is deeply connected to Old Norse. But it's more than just a name. It's actually more of the role Gandalf plays. He's a guide, a mentor, a protector. These are the very roles the stranger is beginning to take on. So when we see these traits, these little clues, it's not by chance. It's a deliberate choice rooted in the deep, deep lore of Tolkien's world. The stranger's primary journey starting to mirror Gandalf in the ways that are pretty significant to ignore. And this is a deliberate choice to take the Tolkien's world and manipulate it, just as Sauron wants to do. So I guess if anything you take from this video, it's that the writers of Rings of Power are more like a corruption of Sauron manipulating orcs, trying to corrupt our minds and bodies. For me, with each new episode, it's becoming more and more clear that the stranger isn't just some random character or even maybe a blue wizard. We thought that for a second. He's actually someone we've known for a, a very, very long time, and he's integral to the story of Middle Earth. He's just come a little too quick into this world, the problem some of you guys have. Ayo! But is he actually truly Gandalf, or is there another twist waiting to be revealed? I'm hoping that there's another twist. Please, God, let there be another twist. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. I'll debate you in the comments section. Anyways, hey, I am posting videos weekly, and I'll be doing daily shorts. That should be fun, a little engaging, a little entertaining there. Uh, fun fact, Rings of Power, uh, new episodes drop every Thursday, Prime Video, so I'll be there, even though I don't wanna watch it, but I'll be there. If you're interested in a fun movie that's a little too inappropriate for most, then click right here. Just kidding, over here, no, wherever it is. Uh, you'll laugh your ass off. Okay, bye.